an international team of researchers are focused on the Gulf of Mexico. There we go. These are some of their stories, intimate portraits of research, innovation, discovery. I'm Matt Damon. Please join me on a journey marked by unexpected twists and turns. This is home to over 70 bottlenose dolphins that are part of the Navy Marine Mammal Program. My name is Dr. Cynthia Smith, and I'm the Executive Director and the Director of Medicine for the National Marine Mammal Foundation. I grew up on the Gulf Coast and spent a great deal of time on the beach watching wild dolphins swim by. So that's really where the inspiration started, and I really started to become interested and intrigued in all marine mammals, but really focused on dolphins. So it wasn't until I went to college that I realized that then I could marry my love of medicine with um, my interest and intrigue in marine mammals and saw that I could really create a path and, and become a marine mammal veterinarian. So that's really where it all started for me. Every day when we show up to work in our support role for the Navy's marine mammals, we make sure that we're doing everything we can to provide them the best possible care. And part of that is this relationship that develops between our animal care experts and the animals. So with that relationship, we can really make a lot of things happen and we can provide better care uh, because they trust us and trust us to participate in their medical exams. So what you're seeing here is uh, my colleagues that are working one-on-one, -on -one, uh, a trainer with an animal, on their daily physical exam. So just by caring for them, we're learning all of this great information, this rich information that then we're applying to the conservation of their wild counterparts. So we're taking everything we learn from the Navy dolphin population and directly applying it to conservation medicine. Being a woman in science um, has definitely had its challenges. I think any woman that has made a career out of medicine and science can relate to that. So it's been exciting to work with such a dynamic and inspirational group of women on this project. There are so many of us that are involved as veterinarians and as scientists, as epidemiologists. So to be able to partner and bring all that together, uh, I feel like we're really doing a good thing and inspiring a lot of other young women to do what we do and, and know that really anything is possible. Today, the scientific community is working together to push the boundaries of what they've learned about oil spills and what still needs to be discovered. <laughs> 